Shit's getting crazy yo on the weasel zone. <laughs> Bowman's Wildflower Reserve. Exciting. Gaming and flowers. Yeah. To everyone who's hating on the aquariums, we're gonna we're gonna be checking out trees. The excitement, can you feel it? Can you taste it? I can. And they got they got symbols for plants. It's like World of Warcraft. Flies, yeah. That just flies. Oh, can you buy these, I guess? Yeah. yeah. These are all for sale. Mmm, so wet. Yo, check out that Lobelia Cardinalis. Oh, yes. Exciting. Intense, intense uh, nature trail yes. action going on. MLG nature trails. Walking simulator. Check out this American beach, yo. <laughs> I'm gonna do the green labyrinth. So Do the green labyrinth. Don't get lost forever. We're gonna have to leave you behind. This is silly because this is not really a labyrinth. This is just a freaking snail. You underestimate it. Well, this is stupid. Are you lost forever yet? Like something more challenging than this. <laughs> How are we gonna find you? I think actually you've reached enlightenment. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> under the under the leaves there, there's another frog. Oh yeah, can you see the frog? It's right there. Right there. Right there. Yeah. <laughs> Frogs. Oh yeah, flowers. Cool flower hype. Can you let me know in the comments what this is? Because there's no label here right now, so if you guys recognize it, let me know. So now we're gonna explore New Hope after that intense Boma and Wildflower Reserve. I, I, I need a break, it was just, just too intense. Too many trees, too many leaves. It's just, pff, the hype, the hype was too much. It's a fish with a top hat and a, it's adorable. It is so adorable, the hype. Yep, you gotta love it. You gotta love it. Oh, oh doggy. Yay, Hi, buddy. No. Oh, yes. <laughs> so, in case you're wondering why there are so oh, many. Yeah. 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 So, in case you're wondering why there are so many uh, rainbow flags around, it's because there's currently the Gay Pride Festival or something going on in New Hope. On this weekend, yeah. On this weekend, so yeah, we're gonna see probably the parade tomorrow. It's gonna be great. Exciting. Oh, I'm looking forward to it. Yeah. One of these days, they will actually write Sven on there. This time it's Svet. What was it the last time? Seven. Seven. I think. Yeah, and another one was Snev. Can I see that? Yeah, Curious Goods. I wanna know what Curious Goods are. Let's go and explore the curious goods. I think these are the curious goods. What is this? Is that a... It's like a... Ow, hot. I always gotta go to the witch shop. Let's uh, buy some uh, witch and things. What, what spells do they have in them? The correct way to smudge. I'm, I'm, I'm very confused by this. The correct way to sage? And... I don't know. I, I don't think that I know enough about witch magic to be qualified to use these scrolls. Me neither. Attract money. That's how you do it. Incense cones. I didn't think there would be a store for wine stoppers. No, no disrespect. You can find it's just... for everything that just not weird. Yeah, that's true. A wine stopper <laughs> store. Designed by JJ. Giving my 50 hour job up in the store was a little nerve wracking. It's going well. Designs by JJ and New Hope. Oh, we got a nice little tea store in New Hope. What's it called? River Edge Spice Company. How are you guys doing? I am so great. I'm jealous of myself. <laughs> so many pinwheels. So many pinwheels. They are kind of adorable. I mean, 
zombie pinwheel. I like that. <laughs> Very cute. Standing canoe, I guess. But that that blue uh, that blue cute. area over there is the one that it might be running tomorrow. I just need some hip, happy hipster ukulele music, I think. Again, you're gonna yeah. do the hipster ukulele music again? Oh yeah. All right. Right now. You're not gonna flip off the swan. Not yet. What a good dog. Aww. Um, that's pretty horrible. So we can't do the it. yellow ones. Oh, you think? Yes. All right, I'll try the yellow one. I mean, honestly, if there's a good-looking flat on I think the more. Ooh, it's like all this green and yellow. Uh, what do you think? <laughs> yeah, a little, little, it really hippie. Gives you that hippie vibe. Comment section. What do you think about Lauren's glasses? Is she styling or what? Oh no, no. Nope. Not all right. Well, not, Chad, do you think you should buy them? Transaction did not occur, will not occur. Okay, I, I tried. <laughs> it's just everyone wants the seeds. Everyone wants the seeds. There's no... A uh, 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 bird? That's a small gray one. Oh, it's like a finch. Small That's a tufted titmouse. Oh. A tufted titmouse. <laughs> Guys, it's called a tufted titmouse. I have no words. Alright, squirrel's coming for the kill. That big fat one? It's a big fat squirrel, yes. Photogenic little bastard. That's all they eat. Pretty cool. <laughs> of course. So we're on our way to the new whole gay pride parade, which is gonna be in like 15 minutes or so. I'm wearing perfect purple. Perfect and purple? Perfect purple, my favorite color. I, I got nothing else to say. You nailed that. I right? nailed that, man, yeah. with the enthusiasm. Parades. It's gonna be interesting, I've actually never gone. I grew up in New Hope, and I never went to the gay pride parade. Wait, how long have the parades been? Going Probably on. Probably forever. Forever, every day. It's like purgatory, gay purgatory. No, not every day. I mean, every year. I mean, probably as long as I've been alive. First official gay pride, gay pride parade we've been to. So. Yes. It's the first time for everything. Yeah. You? How many? How many have you been? I've been to three. Three. Yeah, gay my dad parades, has. But not here. My, my dad has, has been to more gay parades than I have. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, I am. Oh. Unacceptable. Swag. Yeah, thank you. That's nice. Thank you. 
Pride. Happy Pride. Oh, More swag. <laughs> Check out that hot grill, guys. <laughs> I'm filming your food so hard right now. Why? Why you do this? Also, it's, it's kind of tough. So I it's a key lime really pie. Real key limes. I'm on fire. We are in Peddler's Village. Uh, is Peddler's Village still New Hope or is that Solbury or? No, Peddler's Village is uh, Lahaska, I think. Lahaska, Lahaska. So we're in Lahaska in Peddler's Village just shopping, trying to entertain my parents, which are really hard to entertain as it turns out. So, uh, or easy, however you want to look at it. Yeah. Press here for demonstration. Hold on, we gotta watch the clock. It's doing a demonstration. Oh, I love it. I don't really care for the music, but the emotion's really cool. Aww. I love it. Yeah, that's, that's, that's not gonna turn boring after a few weeks. What up, Weasel Nation? <laughs> Lauren hates it when I do that. When I, when I, when I call you anything else, I always cut it out of the videos. But I always have fun saying that. Mm. So I've been. Uh, Laying on the couch for like the last, by the way, I'm up, I'm up bald. It's just, I really shaved my hair, the light is hitting my head. I look super bald in this. Holy shit, I look like I'm 100% bald in this uh, shot. Anyways, I'm just laying on the couch because I feel kind of sick. Um, I got a really cool octopus steampunk diver helmet clock. Yes, that's that's all one item. It's not several items. It's one item. I'll totally show that to you And I'm home and not like so sick. I feel pretty shitty I've been laying here been listening to the new or not new listening to the audiobook from XKCD the what if one That's narrated by Will Wheaton. It's pretty awesome. Really fun. Can definitely recommend it. That is he's, real he's not so camera shy. No, he's not What's that? Is that is that a camera? He's a big border collie and he yeah. loves to fetch ball. Well, he's a he's a pure board, bred border collie. This was uh, the dog that my family got when I was in high school. And he was my best buddy in the whole world. And he's 11 now, but we got him uh, when he was just a tiny puppy and he fit in my lap and he curled up in my lap on the car ride home from the breeder when he was just like a month old. Let me show you what I got from New Hope. I got a steampunk octopus diving bell clock. Yeah, it's quite quite the mouthful, but I really like that I've been oogling this thing for uh, a few times. Every time I went back there, I've seen this thing like, ah, oh, I like this, so I finally got it. It's, um, yeah, it's a nice figurine with a clock in there, so it has a little bit of a practical purpose. I wish I could let you out, but Lauren is currently getting leaves for her caterpillar, so we're gonna have to wait until she comes back in, otherwise he'll fly out of the door. Today we're gonna learn about the Cecropia caterpillar. Cecropia moth caterpillar. I don't know what we're gonna learn. Well, but... I don't know either. Okay. Well, anyway, what that's that's okay, what's an instar? Because that's a thing that you've been talking about. <laughs> Instars are uh, the different stages that they go through when they shed their skin. Because you see how uh, some of them are black and some of them are yellow. Um, that's probably a first instar one there, I think. Um, they go through five instars, which means they they shed um, four times, and uh, so that they can have a new, bigger, stretchier skin. So when you saw them, they were tiny black dots, and now they're all turning yellow. That's because they've shed their skin, and now they're in stretchier bigger yellow skin just to get an idea as to like the size yep, yet getting bigger they're gonna be really big they're gonna be like this they're gonna be about the size of your finger <laughs> oh that's gonna be lovely because she has like 50 of them so now for now i'm probably gonna have to release a few yeah you're gonna have to be hauling half a tree in here just for them yeah 
So I wanted to end the video a little bit earlier, but I didn't get a chance to edit this yet, so we're going to the conservatory! Yay! Conservatory! What is a conservatory, Lauren? It's a place with plants. Plants! So, we're at the conservatory. That's a total, that's a thing. Did you know a conservatory can also mean something else? That's a smart reason. You're not gonna define it, you're just gonna I, it, it. It has two meanings, and I forgot the other one. It's something with musical college thing. It's nice, there's like a little park area right next to the road. Yeah! Okay. <laughs> I, uh, yeah. I'm excited, some, uh... I'm excited about the conservatory too. Pumping Musa. Mm. Yo, guys, check this out. Trees and plants and a non functioning fountain. They're very cute here. Uh, they got like three areas Mediterranean, desert, and <sighs> tropical? I think I think tropical is in the middle. Oh. Oh, yeah. That'll all poke you. Ow. Yeah, that's perfect. Now we're in the jungle section. Look at that wall. I want a wall like that. That's really cool. That's a nice idea. I like they put some like uh, woods on there. Some succulents are just on wood. That's a nice idea. Bananas. Bananas. Yum. This is a nice big banana tree. Oh, well, that's the first time I'm seeing a banana tree up close, so that's kind of cool. Ooh, fish. Oh yeah. They're excited. Oh yeah. I don't even think some of these are koi, they're just like common yep. goldfish and stuff that just look really pretty. But yeah, there's look one, at look at the big, big one. Guy. Big one is the arrived. Check out all the papaya guys. Oh yeah, papaya tree. Papaya tree. They're all very beautiful, very well kept plants. Oh yeah. Very impressive. The fireball, or oh, yeah. as they call it, the, the donger. donger. The donger. Alright, now we are in the desert region or the desert part of the observatory. Jesus, it's warm in here. I mean, it is like 85 outside, but right now it is so, so warm in here. I don't even want to know. It must be like 90 in here. Cool thing is, you can walk around, call this number on there, press the number, and it will tell you something about desert critters. You could do that right now. You could call this number right now, press 43 and the pound sign, and learn something about the desert critters. That is really neat. Wow, look at them. They're flowering. I've never seen these. Very impressive. Very impressive. Very warm. Oh yeah. It is warm in the desert. Oh, yeah. Wow. Those are huge cacti. Huge. Looks it looks very delicious, but it looks so uniform. It looks nearly fake. Uh, yeah, that looks like modern art, doesn't it? Yeah. Yep. Oh. Here's some aloe for that burn. Is that aloe? Yeah. You do not want to hug this. Oh, that's mean. Oh. That's really mean. Yeah, they really want to make sure you don't eat them. Yeah or climb them or anything. Yeah. <laughs> My favorite place was the desert and then the tropical rainforest. My last favorite is the Mediterranean. Guys, check out these orchids. Oh yeah, on the lazy weasel. <laughs> Some orchids are really weird because they like, they, yeah, they look like lady shoes, there's, as you said. And there's one that looks like a little guy with a little uh, penis hanging out. Yep, oh. it's there's, a little. There's one that looks like a monkey's face. Oh, I did not know that, that this is the largest of all plant groups. One in 10 plant species is an orchid. Wow. There are over 30,000 species of orchids and more than 100,000 registered hybrids. It's really huge. That is a really huge palm in a really beautiful yeah, that's the Victorian Conservatory, guys. Well, this is my first first ever coconut palm I've ever seen in my life. It's huge. I wonder what they do when this thing grows out of control. It's, well, it's leaning. It kind of is already, so they... have it tied up with a rope there. That's right, otherwise it would fall down. All right, we're back from the conservatory, and it is time to have a look at our little friends here. 
Ah, look at how beautiful and colorful they are. Look at their colors, like they have like red dots and blue dots on the side. Makes them look poisonous, I think, that's the idea. That's the idea, but they're, they're completely harmless. Completely harmless little caterpillars. And mm -hmm. they're starting to turn green. As you can see. Like, uh, this guy here, look, he's turning green. Oh, green. yeah, I see all the colors on there, Very all the green. primary colors. Red, blue, yellow, perfect. And I got a plant at the conservatory. I got a foliage begonia. Very cool, very nice leaves. Really gonna enjoy seeing that one grow. I don't have a pot, I'm gonna have to get a pot soon. Which I'm already gonna vlog about, because that is what I do now. I, I vlog about things. And now I'm going to take, uh, I'm gonna go jogging. So much purling everywhere. Such happy plans. Anyway guys, that concludes it. Wait, let me do my outro. Anyway guys, that concludes it for this vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm Weasel, I'm out.